So a couple of weeks ago, I heard about this device called Terminal. Terminal is an e-ink reader. It's basically a little e-ink reader that can sit on a desk or can be mounted on a wall. You know, it's this little device here, really neat. It can display a variety of information. There's literally hundreds of plugins that you can put on the device to display calendar, or weather, or quotes, sports scores, stock prices, like whatever it is for developers, you can do like GitHub actions and commits. And you, know, like you can do your to-do list. There's a lot of stuff you can put on that little device. I first heard about this uh, a couple of weeks ago. I came across like a YouTube video about it. And I was like, oh, that looks neat. Plus it's open source. I want to try it out. And it was weird. It was almost like it was fate because just a few days after I first heard about this device, I was contacted by the company. They get my contact information from YouTube. They're like, hey, we see you do a lot of videos about open source software. We would love to send you one of our devices so you can check it out. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to do that. So they sent me the device and I've been playing around with it for a few hours today. I just unboxed it earlier this morning. It's the afternoon here. Now I've got to say, I've been impressed with some of what you can do with this device. So if you're thinking about purchasing one of the terminals, uh, they have a variety of colors and options. They have uh, white, black, I've got the black one. We've got sage color as far as the frame, a faux wood frame as well. And it, there's also battery upgrade options as well. What I am using is what is known as the OG model. So I've got the terminal OG, which currently is priced at $139. That's what they've shipped me. And I've got to say, it's a pretty neat little device, and I mentioned it's open source, so all of their stuff is on GitHub. A lot of it, if you click on it, you can see the free and open source licensing on a lot of this stuff, such as their firmware license under the GPL V3. If I go back, we've got mounts for 3D printable mounting solutions, so plans for that stuff. All of that is licensed under the MIT license, so they're you got a lot of stuff under a variety of free and open source licensing, and I love that. And as far as developers, if you want to create your own custom plugins for the device, you want to display information maybe that there's not a plugin for, they have information about that. How do you can create your own plugins to display whatever it is you want to display on the device, and maybe that's something I will eventually get into, I, I don't know. But right now I'm just playing around with some of the existing plugins and there's a bunch if I actually go to some of the plugins that are available. So I'm logged in to their website here. When you first get the device, we should actually talk about this. When you first get the device, you get it in a box, right? Inside the box, of course, you get a variety of stuff. You get, obviously, the packing around the device. You get a cloth to wipe the device with. You get some wipes. Uh, you also get a little round key that you use to actually pop off the back of the device should you need to get into it, maybe for, for example, upgrading the battery and, and stuff like that. It also comes with a USB-C cord for charging the device. Now, for most of us, we probably already have a bunch of USB-C cords laying around. So I've got several lightning cords that I use to charge my Android phones with. So, you know, I'm covered in that aspect, but they do send you a little short USB-C cord should you not have one. Now, once you power on the display for the very first time, you need to actually sign in to the website. You need to create an account with the terminal website and you need to connect the device through them. Uh, basically, you have a ID, what they call the friendly device ID. And I'm not going to show you that on screen because it's maybe I shouldn't share my friendly ID with you guys for for uh, privacy reasons. But, you know, it basically can connect to the machine and through the website, I can actually add various plugins and you can see I've added four different plugins here to the device and there are again dozens maybe hundreds you can see we've got things like Apple Photos for those of you that have an iPhone we've got Shopify and uh, Outlook Calendar GitHub contributions and chat GPT stuff Bible verses YouTube to-do lists we've got so much stuff here right we've got a ton of plugins probably anything you can imagine for a plugin somebody's probably already made one. These are official plugins. Now there is third party, what they call recipes for plugins as well. And I've already installed at least one. 
to check out, you know, to make sure that this worked on this device. I've installed one of the YouTube third party plugins as well. But if I go down here and go to playlist, this is everything that is on my device right now. The days left this year, stock price, motivational quotes, mashup, which is really just a, uh, a split screen of all of this, these other three plugins here. And then I've got this fifth one that I just tried out, the YouTube channel latest video. So it displays information about my latest video on the DistroTube channel. So let me show you this device. Now every few minutes it will switch screens, it will switch plugins that I have. And uh, this is all customizable on the website. I can actually go and change the settings. But right now, obviously, it's doing the motivational quote. I click a button on the back and it takes about five seconds. You know, it's an e-reader, right? It's, it's not a very powerful computer, right? But if I switch to it, this is the mashup, which is three different plugins at once, kind of in a, a tiling layout. This is the stock quotes, right? And this is the calendar, days left in the year. And this is the motivational quote, right? So three and one, if I click it again, it goes to the next layout or the next plugin, excuse me. And taking a few seconds, this is a thumbnail of my latest YouTube video with how many views, how many likes, uh, or whatever, right? It's got some information, right? So this was the video I posted actually earlier today on the DistroTube channel. If I click the button one more time, I think it will be the days left in the year full screen. Yep, takes a few seconds, right? So. It's not something that, you know, if you're wanting something to update in real time, right? That's not the kind of device this is. But if you want something that updates, you know, for example, every five or 10 minutes, maybe, you know, I, I want some, some stock prices for various things, right? And I can set that. So if I go into edit, the stock ticker, right? But this is the stocks plugin. I like the title, right? I told it I wanted the tickers for SPY, QQQ, and VIX. So that is the three that get displayed on the screen and it gives me a little sample of how it will look on the screen. This is when it's, you know, full screen, right? So that is that. If I go back to the playlist and I could edit the days left in the year plugin, let's go edit. And is there any settings? There's no real settings for this one. So let's go back into the playlist. The YouTube channel one, you will have to edit. Uh, so if you own a YouTube channel, you do have to give it your channel ID or it's not necessarily for people that have a YouTube channel. Maybe it's a channel you just follow and you want to know every time they put out a new video, right? It could be whatever video it is you follow, Mr. Beast or whoever. I don't know. I don't even know who Mr. Beast is. I couldn't pick him out of a lineup, but I've heard the name before, right? Go find that channel ID and you can put it in here and you get their latest video uh, information about it when it's available. So who exactly is this device made for, right? Because that's one of the things, you know, if you're thinking about buying one of these devices, is it useful to a wide variety of people and I think it is. I think the terminal is nice for those that get distracted easy, those that lose focus easy because especially if you need to stay on task and you're using it for things like to-do lists or you know I'm using it to track the stock market because that's a big part of what I do on one of my other YouTube channels right. I, I You could use it for your again like GitHub actions, if you're a developer, basically use it for whatever it is that you do as part of a daily routine or a daily workflow just to keep you focused, right? And it's basically for those that want to minimize their digital distractions. If you get distracted easy, because these days we live in a world where so many people are borderline ADHD, right? Uh, like it's really easy to veer off on something and lose focus where if you've got one of these around or maybe multiple, and that's really where this would come in handy if you had multiple, right? You could have this mounted to a wall somewhere with a to-do list, mounted on your refrigerator, right? <laughs> you can have it in the bathroom, in the kitchen, wherever, right? You could have several of these with a variety of information, but you know, basically just to keep you exactly on task. I can certainly see small businesses using this thing for displaying a wide variety of information. Maybe they need just a clock, right? D display the date, maybe display the time, maybe display the weather, 
I, I could certainly see small businesses, again, using this for a wide variety of public information that they want to just have one of these hanging on a wall. You could certainly use the device for signage, right? You could, you know, have whatever sign display again for businesses. It does have various uh, picture and photo plugins as well. If you got a photo album that you want to, you know, display family photos and e-ink display so it'd be black and white right but if you wanted to have some of that going on on the device you certainly could and finally i think the, the group that will definitely want to play with this and why i was interested in getting it is it's for the tinkerers it's for the do-it-yourself crowd the developers the hobbyists the scripters the programmers because i'm kind of interested in possibly seeing what i can do creating my own plugins for you know, interesting information that I want displayed because maybe I want to display some information that's not really served in one of these plugins or these third party recipes. Maybe I have something else that I want displayed on there. Well, they give me the information as far as the development tools and the information on how to create my own plugins. And I kind of like that. One final thing I want to mention about Terminal, and, and this is really cool because here in the last couple of months, I've made you know, two or three videos explaining the dangers of doom scrolling on the internet and on social media. And on this box for the Terminal, you're not going to be able to read it, but I'll read it to you. There is some small text here, and it says, Terminal is the antidote to doom scrolling, right? So <laughs> that's probably possibly how they came across my channel uh, to send me a, a device because they're anti-doom scrolling and obviously I'm anti-doom scrolling, right? And I could see how this device is the anti-doom scrolling device is because, you know, if you're one of those people that get easily distracted on your phone or on your computer, or on your laptop, especially with social media, having something like this also sitting around Pointing to the information that you really need to be focused on, like your, again, like your to-do list or your calendar or whatever it happens to be, your appointments. That's nice, right? That's kind of the cure for the doom scrolling or just have a message on the screen that says, hey, dummy, get off of Twitter, right? Get off of Facebook. Uh, I think that's a great idea I, because I am a big proponent in people limiting the distractions, especially from social media. So I do want to thank the good folks at Terminal for sending me the device to check out. And I, I recommend you guys check it out again. I, I think it's important, especially as free and open source software enthusiasts, that we support companies that support the open source ecosystem. So guys, go check out the Terminal. Peace.